Hey, what's going on there, YouTube? This is your man, Corey G, your New York Uber driver, bringing you another video. Today's topic, how can I be more efficient driving for Uber and Lyft? Well, you probably have seen in my early, early videos how I never recommended for you to drive with the Uber app running and the Lyft app running. And there, there was plenty of reasons. Number one, you know, you got to juggle both apps. And, and it could be kind of dangerous, too. Uh, you get a call, and you got to remember to turn this one off. And hopefully you're not driving while you're doing it. And, you know, it, it becomes a little a bit of a hassle making sure you turn that off. And I'm pretty sure that this has happened to you. You was probably got both apps running. You get a call from Uber, you go and pick it up, and you forgot to turn off Lyft. And what's happening on your way to the Uber call? You get a Lyft call. I'm pretty sure it has happened to you, okay, because it has happened to some of us. And you know what I'm going to say? Even me. I have done it in the past myself. But guess what? We have an opportunity to use both apps at the same time and not have to worry about such things anymore. I would like to introduce you to Maestro. The Maestro app is here for us to use, guys. You might be saying, what is Maestro? Well, let me tell you. Maestro is an app that's been developed by another Uber driver who has thousands of rides underneath his belt. And what he has created is a way to use both apps, Uber and Lyft, at the same time. And what this will do is, this app will help you manage and make you more efficient in your driving. Really, it helps you just focus on the driving. Basically, here's how it works. Well, you, you, you turn on the Maestro app and, and you have your Uber and Lyft. I'm going to bring it to the screen a little closer. And what happens here is Maestro will monitor both apps for you and will let you know and alert you to which call is coming in first. In fact, when you turn on the Maestro app from the sleep setting that you probably see here up on top, it will turn on Uber Lyft. I mean, it will turn on Uber Lyft. It will turn on the Uber app for you and the Lyft app. And you don't have to worry about either or. What happens here is, let's say for instance, that, that scenario I was talking about, you get a Lyft call. Well, this is what the Maestro app will do for you. The Maestro app, the Lyft call, I mean, the Uber call comes in. Maestro will automatically turn off Lyft to let you focus on the Uber call. You do the Uber run, you finish. Maestro is monitoring that. And what happens there is Maestro will now turn back on the, I mean, turn back on the Lyft app. That's brilliant, guys. You don't have to be worrying about stuff like that. Now, you might be saying, eh, that might be nice. That's kind of cute. But let me whet your guys' appetite a little bit more. On the Maestro app, and I'm going to get a little closer here. On the Maestro app, it has preferences. Guess what these preferences do, guys? You can set it for what type of Uber rides you want to do. That's right. Let's say, for instance, you don't want to do Uber Pool. You don't feel like doing Uber Pool. Some of you don't like Uber Pool. I'm not, a, tell you the truth, I'm not a big fan. I do it when it's advantageous for me as a business owner. But for the most part, I don't really care for Uber Pool. So guess what you can do? You can actually turn off the Uber pool. So what happens here is you don't even see the Uber pool calls coming into you. It will just let you annoy it. 
ignore it. Unless you do want to take it, you change your mind. Ah, I might want to take. It. Then you know you could tap on, you could tap on the um, on the Uber um, app and just tap on to you know take the ride. You can select what calls you want to do. So let's say, for instance. As you can see here, or well, you're not really, you can't see, but I already have Uber Pool turned off. I used it for the past two weeks now, and this thing is great, guys. So let's say, for instance, I do want to do Uber. I can set it for the acceptable times per packs, or uh, for the pick up a pack, um, pick up a passenger, or what we say packs. Um, you can set it for what rating that that particular passenger has let's say for instance you set it for um i don't know let's just say for instance um they shouldn't be lower than a four a 3.8 let's just say 3.8 you can set it for that guess what you're not going to get any calls with passengers that have below a 3.8 rating this makes you more efficient guys because you know that passenger that has that low rating and it's well deserved. Well, guess what, guys? You won't even have to worry about seeing that. It's the same thing for, let's say, for Lyft. Let's say, for instance, you don't want to do a Lyft line. You can turn that off. Or let's say, for instance, some of you guys who are Uber Black car drivers. Let's say, for instance, you just want to get. Just nothing but black calls. Guess what? You can turn everything off. The X. Let's say, for instance, you you are Uber Black SUV. You could turn on. You could turn off X, XL, and just roll. Oh, and turn off pool, and just roll with just black and SUV. And you can just be rolling with that. I know you're starting to like it because you're grinning right about now. Because I was grinning when I saw this. I know you guys are grinning right about now. This app is great, guys. If you're serious about your business, you should download this app. You're also going to need a referral code. So down below on the screen and in the description is my referral code. And guess what the referral code also helps you to do? Once you sign on and get yourself... Um, Get yourself um, started with um, Maestro. Well, you can also use your referral code and bring someone on board as well, too. So, guys, uh, you want to get this app. Now, you might be saying, does this cost you anything? Yes, it does. Listen, guys, nothing in this world comes for free. We do have to pay for something. This is a developer. They developed this app. And the monthly fee is $15 a month. Yeah. Now, if you are a serious business owner, and if you see, have seen some of my videos, how I talked about becoming an LLC, you're tracking your um, your spending. You probably even got uh, you probably even got special software on your phone to track your mileage. You got your um, bank accounts linked, and you're you're claiming business expenses. That can just be nothing but a monthly business expense. No more than your cell phone that you use for for Uber, or if you have a data plan for your tablet. Anything that you're doing for your business that, well, hey, listen, guys, it's tax deductible. So, yeah, it's $15 for the month, or if you want to save a little, you pay for the yearly subscription of $99. That will be, you know, you pay $99 and you don't have to worry about it for the rest of the year. Guys, this is an excellent investment. If you're serious about the business, I highly recommend you download the Maestro app. This will give you peace of mind, guys. Peace of mind. So you can just focus on the driving. And you don't have to worry about crazy passengers. You don't have to worry about do an Uber pool if you don't want to do Uber pool. Or well, let's say, for instance, you just want to do Uber pool altogether. You can start to control the business that you are working for. Get the Maestro app. My referral code is down below on the screen. 
or uh, it's down in the description box. This is your man, Corey G, your New York Uber driver. You and I will become successful.